Hello and welcome back. Uh, so here we're going to start off now on a new section, discrete and continuous random variables. Uh, the first exercise that we're going to do is just look at identifying uh, a particular type of variable. So identifying is it a discrete variable, is it a continuous variable. Um, and it's, it's a relatively straightforward concept. Uh, a discrete variable usually takes on whole values. So it can't, it can't exist necessarily in infinite fractions. Whereas a continuous random variable can take on really any value. So if we look at a number between 1 and 2, a continuous random variable can be any fraction between 1 and 2. Whereas a discrete variable can only be 1 or 2. So just as an example, anyways. So if we look at uh, the, the different options here, we're just going to define which of these is con uh, continuous and which of these are discrete. So if you write your statistics exam and it's composed of 50 multiple choice questions, uh, is this a discrete or is this a random, uh, sorry, a discrete or a continuous variable? Well, this one here is going to be a discrete variable. Um, because we can't have a, really an infinite fraction. Uh, I could have 13 out of 50. Maybe your maybe your instructor gives part marks, so maybe you could have 13.5 out of out of 50. But you're unlikely to have 13.567241 out of 50, right? It's not necessarily going to be a continuous. Uh, any value is an option. It's going to be 13, maybe 13 and a half. Uh, but there really isn't uh, any option for any other values in between. So this is uh, a discrete variable. Uh, observing the birds living near your favorite lake, so you go out fishing or whatever, paddling on a lake, and you're observing the number of birds, uh, tracking them over time or something. So can we see fractions of birds? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, maybe if something's got at them, but generally speaking, the number of birds uh, this is going to be a discrete variable. There's one, two, three, four, five, ten birds. There isn't 10.362 birds. Uh, so this is a discrete variable. Monitoring production quality uh, on an assembly line. So in this case, the value of, of our variable of interest, it's either going to be something is produced properly or it's defective. So it's good or it's bad. So something like this, I would argue, is going to take on a value of really either just zero or one. Uh, or it's good, or it's bad. So again, there's no shades of gray in between these two alternatives. So this one is also uh, a discrete value. Uh, D, measuring police response time to an emergency. So when we're looking at time, well, time is a perfectly continuous variable. Imagine if time was discrete, we would move... Uh, it would all be very choppy. There wouldn't be a continuous uh, flow of, of time. So uh, this one here has to be then continuous. Continuous. Time can be measured uh, really on any any scale, any, any level of uh, accuracy, or one thousandth of a second or one millionth of a second. It exists in, in constant uh, continuous state. Uh, observing hourly traffic over a bridge. So here, if we're counting cars, number of cars that cross a bridge uh, in a given period of time, again, this one is going to be discrete. It's uh, difficult to imagine um, every possible fraction of a car. It's going to be five cars, 10 cars, 13 cars, 12 cars. Uh, so this is going to be counting these objects. This is going to be a discrete variable. A car is not infinitely divisible into different uh, different sizes. Uh, monitoring monthly crop yields. So mo monthly crop yields, yields um, this would be measured in weight. So this one here would be a continuous variable. Because whether we're measuring in pounds or measuring in kilograms, uh, it can take on any fractional value. I can have something that is exactly five pounds, it can be 5.0002 pounds or 5.1673 pounds or it's, it's infinitely divisible uh, as a measure of uh, a unit of measurement. So, so there we've got uh, just some half dozen examples of different types of variables. Some are discrete, some are continuous. Generally speaking, if something 
cannot be infinitely divided into, into smaller and smaller and smaller fractions, uh, then it would generally be considered a discrete variable. If something can be infinitely divided into smaller and smaller and smaller fractions, uh, then that's likely a continuous variable. Okay, so hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps make that uh, a little bit more clear. Thanks for watching.